Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a while since I've done a fashion YouTube video. I was in Dublin the last time I did one. I did do an IGTV if you follow me on there from this exact setting. This is my new spot, I guess. Um, and that was a couple of weeks ago. But I'm trying to get back into it, trying to get back into my routine because I know you guys love seeing these videos. And also Zara is amazing and Zara is worldwide. And autumn is probably my favorite time fashion wise, especially here because there's so much you can wear because the weather's actually still nice and like warm, but not like freezing. So, you know, sometimes you can wear legs out, sometimes you can layer up. Um, yeah, it's just like the perfect weather for dressing. And Zara always has the nicest stuff, especially at the moment. I did a big shopping haul last week. I got a voucher for my birthday, I finally spent it. And then I just ran in today just to see what other bits there was in the shop. And oh my God, there's so much. A lot of black because I guess it's kind of moving into winter so we can kind of start thinking about black again but I'm very excited to show you everything that Zara has I know a lot of you following me love Zara the prices are so reasonable they're so on trend very accessible quick delivery um, the sizes are true size so I just can't wait to show you and I can't wait to see what you think I'm going to do this haul a little bit differently and I'm going to talk you through what I'm wearing as I'm wearing it because I don't have a rail yet so and to be honest it's better because as I'm talking about it I can show you how it fits, I can talk about the sizing, and I'm gonna link everything below in the description box, so if you have any questions about prices, you can, just, you can see them there, because they're gonna vary whether you're in Europe or whether you're here in the US. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Just one more thing before we get started, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, because I have lots of vlogs coming, interior videos, and fashion, so do subscribe. Okay, so the first outfit I'm wearing is this one. I have this gorgeous blouse on with the puffy sleeves, kind of like mesh sleeves, and they're sheer so you can kind of see your arms through them. I love just the volume and the, the kind of definition and shape it gives you. And I love that it's black because it will mix and match with so many different things that you already have in your wardrobe. Like you could wear this with jeans, definitely a work top, definitely something that you could kind of dress up. Um, you could put a blazer on over this if you kind of wanted to dress it down during the day and then whip it off for some drinks in the evening time or whatever. The hairband is very Blair Waldorf, I guess, of New York inspired there with that. Um, it's velvet, I love burgundy. Every autumn I come back to burgundy. And it's funny because it was actually my school uniform color. And somebody told me growing up that you forevermore will hate the color of your school uniform, but that has not been the case with me. I love it, um, I love this color. I think it's really flattering on my skin tone, on a lot of people's skin tones because it's so rich and it's just a lovely kind of autumnal color and then the skirt we've got this dog's tooth black and white checkered skirt this material is really nice and thick it will keep you warm in the winter you can wear this with a jumper when it gets colder or a black coat the dog's tooth trend is everywhere at the moment it's in every single high street shop and it's kind of one of those things that comes in and out of fashion i remember i had a dog's tooth blazer years ago and just when i decided okay i haven't worn this in a while i'm gonna get rid of it came back into fashion and i think because it's black and white it's just so easy to kind of blend in with your wardrobe. There's so many things you could pair it with. That's probably why it keeps coming in and out of fashion. It's just one of those prints that really is timeless and classic and a good investment. In terms of sizing, I'm wearing a small on the top and I wore a medium in the skirt because they didn't have a small, but it actually fits perfectly. It's kind of nice to have a bit of space in skirts in case you want to tuck something a little bit heavier in. Okay, for the next outfit, I'm back with a more kind of classic black. This you could wear anywhere. It's kind of dressy and it's kind of casual and it's kind of funky. A blazer like this would honestly just take you from season to season, year to year, uh, event to event. I have one like this already, but this one's actually a little bit heavier. The gold buttons are so classic. They're like Bauman in style. I don't know if you're familiar with those jackets. Very expensive. Um, but this one is much more reasonable. Um, very good quality. The collar is really nice and thick, the material is really nice and thick. Um, you can't go wrong with just a black, really strong, structured blazer like this. I wouldn't even, I don't know if I'd call it a blazer actually, it's more of a jacket, a light kind of jacket, um, perfect for this time of year. And then underneath that, I have the bodysuit. These bodysuits were made famous by Rosie Huntington Whiteley. If you're looking for some inspiration on how to style them, go on to her Instagram or go on to any fashion blogger's Instagram because everyone has them. I actually was kind of reluctant to buy them for a while because I thought they were just too trendy and they just go out of fashion, but they didn't. Um, and they're really just like a simple piece that can kind of be styled and layered in so many different ways. 
and for that reason how could they go out of fashion you know they're a good investment and they're very affordable like the prices are just so good and i was actually in zara in the shop today and they have loads left so definitely check those out they're i think a really good investment and their bodysuit, I don't know if I said that. So they tuck really well into like high-waisted trousers, high-waisted skirts, um, anything like that. And then I paired this today with my leather joggers. They are super soft, so comfy. I got these in a size small, everything is a size small. But to be honest, in the joggers, I'd probably go up to medium because I think they're supposed to be a little bit baggier. But they are really comfy and really kind of cool and different. And I love leather for the winter. It's warm, it's stylish, and yeah, it's kind of sexy as well. But uh, the joggers are kind of different. I've never had a pair of leather joggers before. So I'm excited to style them up, especially with heels. I think when you make them a little bit more chic, they look really cool. Again, everything is linked below in the description box. If you have any questions about prices or colors or materials or anything like that, just go onto the Zara website and check it out. Okay, so the next outfit is more of a night out dress. It's a classic black satin kind of silk looking dress that a mini dress that will bring you straight from summer to autumn to winter. I love the sparkles on the sleeve. It's so delicate. I just think it looks so expensive and feels really comfortable to wear and easy to mix and match with so many different accessories you have in your wardrobe. Everyone needs an LBD in their wardrobe. You wear them so much. You really do get so much wear out of them. And this one is just so pretty. So simple, but so pretty. Um, and a really good price as well. So I'll link that in the description. And my next outfit is gonna be a lot more casual. So I'm kind of covering all bases today. And also, I hope you don't mind the format of the video that I'm doing. I'm still getting used to it because I don't have a rail in my new apartment yet. So I'm trying to like talk you through the outfits, show you them as much as I can. I know I usually hold them up, but to be honest, I think you see them better when they're on anyway. So hopefully, hopefully you can follow along. And if you have any feedback, let me know. Leave, leave all your comments and stuff in the comments below. Okay, back with another outfit. This one is much more casual. An all white, comfy apartment outfit, I guess you could call it. If you're following me on Instagram, you know I have my lounge for the apartment and these trousers are literally the coziest thing I've bought because I moved in. They're so soft. My favorite probably thing from the whole haul. They're just, I just don't want to get so much wear out of them. I feel so good when I'm wearing them. Even though they're like lounge wear, I feel like you could definitely dress them up and make them look chic. I saw them on the website. They paired them with the white oversized shirt, which I'm going to show you later, but I paired it with jeans. But anyway, I just love them. I think they're, they're cool, they're chic, they're comfy. They're everything I love in clothes. Um, I'm wearing the famous bodysuit that I showed you earlier in black um, and this one people actually always ask me do I wear a bra with them sometimes I do and sometimes I don't but I usually with the to be honest with the lighter color ones I tend to wear one because I just feel more comfortable but there is a little layer you can kind of see here an extra layer over the boob area so you are safe like nothing's going to be see-through but personally I just feel if I'm wearing it by itself or if it's a lighter colour, I feel more comfortable wearing a bra. I'm wearing a Victoria's Secrets one, a strapless one, and it comes down low with the sides, so you can't see it from the sides. So that makes a big difference, because I know one of my friends said you could see uh, her strapless bra when you wore it, when she wore it with it. Um, and yeah, again, the, this would just mix and match with so many different things. And it's always good to have like white, black, nude. They're the three colours I got it in. I know they have it in khaki as well, but I resisted the urge to get four. I just got the three. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about these. Actually, the trousers, well, they're not see-through. That's probably something that people are gonna ask. They're not see-through. Okay, it's me, back again. Different outfit, different hairstyle, but same shop, more Zara stuff. I absolutely love this blazer jacket. Again, it's heavier than a blazer, so I wouldn't call it a blazer, but it's blazer in style. Um, a light jacket, I would call it. Really, really nice material. Um, I love the checkered. You've got yellow, black, white, red in there. Gives you lots of options to kind of mix and match different colors. But also, it adds a little bit of color to your black and white wardrobe, which I know most of us have. Black mainly, I suppose, for the winter. These trousers, so versatile. So comfy, so stylish. You've got the kind of straight up, sit up the front, which is so on trend. Victoria Beckham wore them a lot. She brought, she's the one who brought them into fashion. 
um, and you can zip them down and up and they're really like, especially for me, I'm tall, they're good length, but they're not like, I suppose, if you were a little bit shorter than me, they probably fit you even better. But I love that when you zip them down, they kind of gather at the end. I think that just gives them a really kind of chic look. They're really stretchy. I actually wore these the other day and wore them to yoga after because I didn't want to bring a pair of uh, changed trousers. It was like a light yoga session. I wasn't like sweaty, but very stretchy, very comfy and very stylish. So again, you know, if you follow me, you know that's kind of what I love. I have the black bodysuit on again. Literally, I'm going to be living in this for the winter. So I hope you're not bored of seeing it already because it's... I'm not done with it yet. Um, again, everything's linked below in the description. So I'm back again with another outfit. This is all about the shirt. I have paired this with camel trousers. These are old. To be honest, I probably wouldn't pair it with these normally, but I don't have another pair that are like appropriate. Um, I have a black pair I could show you, but I'm gonna show you those next. Basically, these are camel trousers. I got them in Zara in February, um, but they have some similar ones in there now with the belt and they're tapered at the end. So I think they'd be really nice um, Literally if you're gonna have one staple in your wardrobe have a white shirt You could pair this with a pair of jeans either. I think it works really well with a pair of jeans and a belt um, Or the white joggers like I said earlier um, Really good quality really nice fit, which is what a, what a good white shirt is all about and the trousers are just amazing quality this shirt is a size small, it's oversized, so just bear that in mind when you're ordering their kind of big fitting. So yeah. Okay, so I'm back wearing the same hairband I was wearing earlier. I just love it, I love how girly it is. And then I'm wearing this gorgeous dress, puffy sleeves, kind of cinched in waist, and the bell-shaped skirt, which I just think is so feminine. Neutral colour, which is great because you can mix and match it with every coat you have in your wardrobe. You can add a pair of tights in the winter, um, or in autumn because let's face it we don't always get the nicest weather in Ireland and here it rains it gets cold um, I just love it I love the material and I love the shape I think it's super flattering super feminine and chic as well at the same time so that's linked below in the, the description box as well okay I'm back with my final outfit this is one you've seen already on my Instagram, uh, but the, it is new to Zara. These are the black darted trousers, really, really good for work and really good. Like, I think I'll dress these up with like a sexy kind of bodysuit in the winter. Uh, this is a bodysuit, but like, you know, maybe like a lace one or something and a blazer or a leather jacket. And I feel like then you could wear them out as well. And they're really good quality. They fit just so nice. Zara do the best trousers. I've said that already, they really do. I'm wearing the bodysuit now in nude. I love this color. I think it's really nice. And I think it's one that would kind of transition well from the warmer autumn weather straight through to the kind of colder weather. I love a winter white. I love wearing lighter colors in the winter. So um, yeah, I think it's nice to keep colors like this that will mix and match well with black and darker colors and whites as well. But um, that's everything. I'm oh, sorry, the, the shoes as well. The shoes are from Zara. They are very similar to the mules I had from the summer. I like the Gucci ones, like take off the Gucci ones, I guess. But um, I'm still trying to break these ones in. They are comfy, but I feel like in New York, I do a lot of walking, so I'm trying to break them in. They're very new um, and they're very reasonably priced and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of them in the winter. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you got some ideas for autumn style and for winter style. Hope you saw some pieces that you liked and um, I'll be back soon with another uh, haul, another autumn haul. I'm gonna do a H&M one next because it's been forever since I've done one and there is like a huge H&M near my house that I really wanna have a look at. But um, thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully you're okay with this new format. I'm learning, it will get better with time. Bear with me. I think I'm gonna try and get a rail because it's hard to do without the rail. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.